how to share your application across multiple clients. And here we call tenants. Let's change the tenant ID to Globex. Um, see here, it gives Globex Inc. and the welcome from Globex a message and a session ID. Let's do this for InfiTech. JQ is the JSON formatter. So, okay, so it says unknown tenant ID. So let's look at the tenants. It is Initech, Initech, CH. The information is coming from the tenants.json. Later, once we understand this well, we will upgrade this to a SQL database so that the tenant details come from the database. But let's get the idea very clear. So now what do we do? We will see how session works. Okay, so what we will do is, we will run these scripts to get the current session ID for each of those tenants. Okay, so that we can use the session ID. We will store the session ID in these three variables. This is how we get the session ID, but quickly save the session ID in these variables. See, Acne session ID, Globex session ID, and Initech session ID. So we have the session IDs ready. Now we, what we will do is we will pass a specific session ID and call the chat endpoint. See here, here is the response, JQ. This is an example of how we can call another endpoint and get the interaction authenticated. So here, the parameters that we pass, uh, this is the parameter that we need to pass when you call the chat endpoint. See here, we need to know the tenant ID. That is what we pass first to get the session. And all subsequent calls to the chat endpoint, we need to also include the session ID. So with the tenant ID and session ID, our backend can authenticate the user. Notice, so this way we can segregate different tenants sharing the same application. It's a foundation for modern SaaS efficiency and portability.